Well, hello there. It is I, Jay, and welcome back to the channel. Hi, how are ya? Just kidding. So, um, I lied to you. So, I didn't expect really to like the furry Barbies, but, you know, I kind of am obsessed now, and I haven't actually put down the actual Barbie, not the furry, but the actual Barbie, since I did the review, and I just kind of put the furry on, you know, a made-to-move body. That's why it's able to actually pose better. But, I actually caved, and I kind of decided to, you know, kind of buy the rest of the gang. So... Now I have the entire set. <laughs> Besides, you guys really did like the video with the bunny, so why not do all three in a video and just, you know, reunite the gang, you know what I'm saying? So guys, if you're interested in watching me unbox three more furry Barbies, and then keep on watching, but let me just roll this intro right quick. Hello? I just hit an Ariana Grande note. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna move out the bunny, and we named it the Energizer Bunny, by the way. This lovely user down here actually named her that. So, yes, but this bunny will join her friends at the end of the video, so yeah. I didn't expect the Barbie video to do well, but you guys really ate it up, so here we are again. We're doing a sequel, you know, I listen, but also I have spinning issues, so, you know, there, there's that as well. But guys, all three of these I got on Walmart's website. The panda actually did show up, thank God, so I just bought them all together. I did get the panda first, and then the next day I got these two together, so I was like, okay. I'm very excited to see what the quality on these guys are going to be, if their faces are as pretty as the Barbie, because I know she has a pretty face, and I'm very curious to see what her hair type is, and I want to see if her face is as bad as, you know, the pictures I've seen. So, let's get into this, shall we? So, just a brief rundown of the package. Each doll comes in a cardboard tube. The only plastic of the packaging is on the top and on the bottom, and you do get to see what doll you're going to be getting on the side right here. If you're wanting the panda, you're going to get the panda. If you're wanting this dog, yes, this is a dog. It looks like a bunny. You're going to get the dog. And if you want the cat, then you're gonna get the cat. There's no variation of the doll inside. They're always just gonna be what's pictured. But honestly, I do like the packaging. As I mentioned in the first review, I like how there's not much plastic waste and it's more recyclable. Each doll does come with a pet that matches their mascot. And if you flip it around, you can see exactly what the dolls look like in their jackets and their furry persona. If you're gonna be looking for the cat, here is her barcode. If you're gonna be looking for this doll, here is her barcode. And if you're gonna be looking for the iconic panda, here is her barcode, yeah. Anyway, Anyways, guys, I'm going to just start revealing one by one. I think I'm going to start with the panda because I'm more excited about her. So let's move these guys off. And I guess we can actually get started. Unlike last time, these actually came in boxes. So their contents are not spilled out everywhere. Thank you. But guys, let's get opening Miss Panda. So there's some tape just holding on the bottom right here. Just gonna cut that. And then the lid just should pop right off. And let's get our bags out. <laughs> Okay, so this <laughs> this one's actually really funny looking. This is probably the most dorky looking mascot of them all, and I think that's why I love it the most. Like, look at this. Look at the eyes. Come on now. It's looking in two different directions, and we stand. Um, we'll look at the panda in a second, but let's go through all the stuff it comes with. So you're gonna get a collector's guide. It's basically kind of like a poster, and you can see all the characters. And each doll comes with the same blind bags. They're made of paper and are in different colors. I'm not gonna show you the rest of the stuff that comes with the other dolls. We're just gonna go over it with one doll. So yeah, in our hot pink one, Let's see what's inside, shall we? So every doll comes with this heart-shaped hard plastic comb and on the back it doubles as an applicator for the color change feature. I really don't like how these feel. And they're really thick, so interesting. In this blue bag, we got her skirt. It's a red polyester skirt with two white stripes going down the middle and there's one on the side as well. It's kind of giving me Adidas vibes. Kind of like it, kind of don't. In this purple bag, we got her little panda and it is textured and you know a panda obviously and for some reason the eyes are open they're supposed to be closed because that's the color change gimmick so interesting as for the last baggie we got this little black panda bear headband there's no paint applications which is kind of stupid but oh well and she comes with red high top sneakers these are actually really cool too i really do like the shoes so far from this doll line i don't know why but these are really cool <laughs> Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to our panda doll. So it's in a fursuit complete, you know, head to toe. So with the head, it's a soft plush head. There's no plastic in it. It has plastic beaded eyes and a beaded nose along with an embroidered mouth and some embroidery around here, heart blush marks down there. And if we move down to the costume, it looks like it has very broad shoulders, doesn't it? It's very much giving mask and um, yeah, <laughs> it's black mainly with a white tummy. And you can kind of see the other jackets kind of poking through. We'll see that after. And in the last video, I was kind of weirded out by the hands and feet. I don't know what it is about them, but they just weird me out. Like, look at these things. And it seems like they all have the 
same kind of hand mold and feet mold. Just kind of interesting because they are all different animals. So I mean, like they could have done different hand molds, but whatever. And they kind of just are rubber band onto the wrist as well. If we move down to the pants, they're just these black furry pants. You can actually kind of use these as pajamas after if you really wanted to, but I mean, why would you? And they also have this little Barbie tag on this side as well. And then we move on to the feet. The feet are so weird and they also feel very weird, but they do work as a stand for the doll. So the doll can actually stand and support the whole body, as you can see right here. <laughs> but guys, now we are going to unveil our Panda Girl. Now these are surprise toys. So again, we don't know if there's gonna be any defects with these dolls. I'm going to hope that there isn't, but basically all you gotta do is just start taking the Panda off. So you start with the wrist, start with these weird feet. Let's just take these pants off as well. And it seems that her underwear are actually red instead of blue like the last one. It Velcros in the back so you can do the reverse feature. And she also has a red sports bra on as well. And guys, for the moment of truth, let's see what our doll's looking like. Okay, what is wrong with her neck? Am I, am I tripping right now? What's wrong with her neck? Oh. Okay, girl. <laughs> okay, guys, I fixed her neck and honestly, her hair is so messy. It is Saran though, by the way, if you're interested. So she has a long black hair with red and white streaks in it. Honestly, when I first saw this doll, she reminded me of the skunk from the Barbie and Swan Lake movie. Like, tell me she doesn't like kind of resemble that at all. If we look at her face, she has such a really pretty face. Like her eyes are super big. She has a very thick eyebrows, which is something Barbie's been doing lately. And I don't know why. She has these red freckles all over her face. I actually might acetone those off because because I really don't like how they look on her. For her eye makeup, it isn't as done up as Barbie's was. It's just kind of basic. So she has some red eyeshadow and that's it pretty much. Red lips, along with two little sparkles on her lips, just like the Barbie one did. Her hair is actually really thin too. So I think that these dolls have just really thin hair in general. So it's not just my doll. So that's good to know. Um, But from the looks of it, ooh, it's so messy. But yeah, I'm gonna put most of her clothes on and I'll show you how the reversible thingy works and she'll be all good. Okay guys, so I've accessorized her and all that jazz. The skirt is like really form fitting, like it is snug as a bug in a rug. But anyways, let me show you how to reverse her jacket. So all you're gonna do is unvelcro it. And as you can see inside, it is now white with black polka dots and like that. Now you have a fuzzy jacket you could put on your doll. And now your doll has a polka dot little, you know, jacket thingy and she's repurposing. We stand a thrifty queen. Yeah guys, that is basically the Panda Barbie. So now we're gonna move on to the cat. Yes. So I'm very nervous about her face because I've seen like pictures of her and I don't like it too much. So I'm hoping it isn't as bad in person. So I now opened the cat one. Let's go through her blind bags. So I'm gonna start with the blue one this time. Why not? So she has a skirt similar to Barbie's. It's a gold color this time. It's very cheap as well. In this baggie, she has some orange cat ears. There's no paint at all. And honestly, these shoes are ugly. I don't like these ones. The purple bag. We have her cat. The eyes on the cat are so faded. I love how I just started tearing this off camera, but anyways. <laughs> she comes with an orange comb that has the sponge on the back. So for our cat, I kind of like the fursuit on the cat a little bit. It's kind of cute. It's a tabby cat and it's orange and has its stripes and all that stuff. It has the beaded eyes and the beaded nose along with some embroidery at the eyelashes, whiskers and the mouth, heart blushes that they have. And she has some pink ears. Honestly though, I don't know. This one's this one's interesting as well. Which one of these fursuits looks the most cursed? I think the panda one is still Still haunting my dreams. If we move down to the torso, it is the same pattern is continuing from the head. It just has a white tummy and she has some orange paws. They kind of remind me of American cheese in person, but on camera, they're very vibrant for whatever reason. For the pants, it's continuing that same pattern and it also has the little Barbie tag down below. And I don't know why feet look very chicken-like on her. I think it's the color orange. I'm actually gonna do it differently this time because I'm so curious about her head. We're gonna take the head off first. So let's see what's underneath this girl. Oh, you can see her face it's already coming out. Oh, okay. I did not know that her hair was going to be um, crimped. So that's cool. So looking at her face, I think it's the lip color, honestly, because the eyes are actually really pretty. Also, I don't know why her cold features are already showing. It's really hot in my room. So that makes no sense. But yeah, she has her whiskers and her nose already. So she has thick brown eyebrows and she has some gold eyeshadow along with some yellow eyes. She's very much giving that cat fantasy. But yeah, I don't like the lipstick. I think that's what's drawing me away from her. But other than that, she's really pretty. And her hair is 
is actually the neatest on the bunch. Like the others were all over their face and stuff, but hers is actually like really uniform. She has long brown hair and there's some pink streaks in it as well. And it's fully crimped. It's kind of, you know, defying gravity and all that. So um, it's definitely going to need a brushing. Yes, yes. But now that we've looked at her head, let's start unraveling her and putting her clothes on, shall we? And for her underwear and bra set, it is a pink coloring. I actually kind of expect a yellow. I don't know why. So guys, let me go get her dressed and I will show you what she looks like. Okay, so she's actually grown on me. I think she's actually really, really pretty. This is what her jacket looks like under after you reverse it. It's like a bunch of striping, so it's orange, white, and really pretty pink color. So it kind of makes sense as to why her undergarments and her shoes are pink. But honestly, her hair feels the best out of it, but it looks the worst at the moment. So just ignore it. That is our cat furry girl. And now let's move on to the dog one. Okay, so here's our dog one. It looks like a gray rabbit more than a dog. This one looks so weird. I don't know what's going on with the mouth area. It looks like it's kind of sunken in, but it's still giving rabbit. It's not giving dog. I feel like if it was trying to give dog, it should have had like some kind of white patch right here. We'll look at the bunny dog thingy after we have gone through her stuff. So let's go through this blue one, shall we? So she has a different skirt, definitely thinner than the other ones that I was complaining about. And it has this weird kind of ruffle on it. Um, I don't like how this feels. She has a purple comb and there's the applicator. Here is her purple bag. This is a dog. This is an actual dog. And this is a rabbit. You cannot tell me that this does not look like a rabbit and this is a dog. But it's a little gray puppy figurine with its eyes open and it has some heart blush and the little white tummy. And as for her last bag, she has a kind of silverish gray dog headband. And then she has these purple boots. I really don't like the purple clown looking shoes. They're actually better than the last girls. So, I mean, at least three of the four had good shoes, right? As we move on to our last furry for a while, guys, I can't believe it, we're actually on the last one. But we have its weird looking face. It has, again, two button eyes and a button nose, along with a embroidery mouth, little dots right there, I guess to look like a dog's snout, I don't know. Has some heart blushing and its ears are floppy and long. I move down to the top. It is gray as well with a white tummy. Surprisingly, they gave it white paws. If we move down to the pants, they're solid gray. They actually look really cozy. And we move down to the weird feet they're a dark gray color so it's kind of weird that we have three different colors going on we have white we have a light gray and we have some dark gray right here let me take this mask off because it's, it's it's weirding me out so let me just let me just do that real quickly so here's her face she's very much giving lizard or reptile kind of scary she reminds me of that one barbie extra has the green hair yeah she's definitely interesting she has barely any eyeshadow on there's just this little pink right here she has pink eyes she has pink lipstick with stars on her lip and her hair is polypurpurine the cheapest hair you could have three of the dolls have good hair and then there's her and she has one solid color by the way it's just purple and she has a light lavender bra and high-waisted underwear on by the way not gonna lie this doll has a really big forehead i just realized it. But anyways, here's what she looks like in her outfit. She has a lilac jacket with a bunch of purple hearts all over it. I actually do like her jacket. It's very anti-Valentine's Day, which is today if you're watching this video. But yeah, um, definitely interesting. I feel like if they did a different face for her and obviously give her better hair, she would serve. Uh, this is her. This is her. Yep. Okay, guys, I am going to get the gang together and we're going to end off this video, shall we? Okay, guys, and here is the entire squad out of their first suits because, you know, you gotta live your normal day to daylight and then you put this on once night hits honestly guys i did not expect to buy the rest of them as i said i was just fine with buying her but i kind of wanted to do it anyways because i really liked her and then my inner you know hoarder was like well then i need these two so now we have the entire set and i would like to hear what you guys think these other three that i purchased i think everyone's gonna say they love the panda but i'm kind of liking her even though i said i was probably gonna not we love a good turn of events also she's not wearing her original jacket it's on the bunny still i'm eventually going to buy all their jackets off of eBay once these dolls are readily available and not scalp all their fursuits, a separate body. So, so I can have two dolls basically them out and in, in their furry personas, you know? But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. If you liked today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I still can't believe that Barbie's doing furry dolls and um, it's interesting. It's definitely a very cohesive collection. Anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff, duh. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Happy Valentine's Day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.